Hey guys, so today I put together a cleaning marathon for you. I was supposed to have a new video go live, but it hasn't gotten brand approval yet. So I'm waiting on them, unfortunately, and I didn't want to not post. So I went ahead and put together one of these cleaning marathons for you. I know that a lot of you really enjoy them because you can just throw them up on the TV and watch them as you're cleaning or even just use the music as background noise for you and I kind of keep you company while you are cleaning. So I am going to go ahead and do that for you but I wanted to come on and say hi and just show my face and let you know that that's what's up today. I'm really sorry that I couldn't get a new video out for you but unfortunately these things just happen. But anyways I hope you enjoy this marathon so I'm going to go ahead and just let it play. Hey guys welcome back to my channel. If you are new my name is Jessica and today I'm doing an all day extreme cleaning motivation. My house was pretty filthy. I hadn't cleaned in a while. We had just went camping and I was just kind of recovering from that. So I'm going to be sharing with you how I cleaned my house when we got back from that and then at the end of this video I'm going to be sharing with you some clips from our camping trip. It was a lot of fun and if you have little kids I think they would really enjoy the clips from the camping trip so make sure that they are in the room and they get to watch this with you. If you are new here and you love cleaning videos then I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and be a part of our community here. I love this community that we have here. It's nothing but a bunch of supportive, encouraging, amazing people. They're always giving me tips and I just love everybody here so I would love to have you be a part of it as well. Today's video is actually going to be a collab with my friend Brandy and she has a really cute home. You guys will love her style. She's always doing DIYs and things over there. So definitely head over and check out her channel, but I'm gonna go ahead and let her introduce herself. Hey girlfriend, I'm Brandy from All Things Brandy Nicole. I am a stay at home mom of three and wife with a passion for creating a pleasant home for my family, promoting self love and uplifting other women. On my channel, you'll find a variety of transparent and practical lifestyle content, as well as cleaning motivation, small home organization, DIY, simple recipes, and of course, some home decor. After you're finished watching this lovely lady's video, I'd love for you to come over to my channel for even more homemaking motivation. And please don't be shy, girl. Come on down in the comments and say hello. I hope to see you there. And I'll have Brandy's video linked in the description for you guys so you can go check it out. So today we're gonna start in the master bathroom. As you can see, it is a mess. I haven't cleaned in here, my, dis my disgusting tub. I can't even believe I showed you guys that, but that is real life and that is how we do it here on my channel. So I'm using this Dawn Power Wash in the tub because I really don't like this for my dishes, but I love it for cleaning the tub. So I just went ahead and sprayed it in there and I let it sit while I cleaned up and decluttered in here and then I'll go and wash it off, but it worked great it made my tub shine and I literally didn't need to use any elbow grease at all the stuff came right off So I'm curious to know everybody. I know that in my state, we live in Tennessee, they have already made the decision for the school year this year. And so basically you have the option to go back traditional or the option to do where you do like Zoom classes and stuff. You do it like, what do they call it? Distant learning, where you do distant learning. And obviously there's always the choice to homeschool your children as well. But I'm curious to know what you guys are doing and there's no judgment here and I won't tolerate any of that if somebody starts to become nasty in the comments or something like that don't worry I will handle it right away because this is a no judgment zone I think that as parents we are all just doing the best we can and making the best decisions based on you know our own research and our own situations and I would never judge somebody either way of what they chose to do this is a really hard decision it really and truly is so I'm curious, let's talk about it in the in the comments and maybe you're still on the fence about it, you're not sure, 
um, you can put that in the comments as well. I don't know, maybe reading the comments will help to sway you one way or the other as well. But again, no judgment for whatever choice you make. We're all doing the best we can and I would just never judge somebody for something like this because it's incredibly hard. So I did go ahead and fill up my tub with bleach to run that through the jets. That's what I do about once a month, but I had accidentally put in the splashless bleach, which if you didn't know, by the way, you guys taught me this. I did not know this, but the splashless bleach is actually not a disinfectant and it actually will bubble up in suds too. So I really don't even like that bleach, but I had some. And when I grabbed that to do my bathtub, I thought I had, I thought it was a regular bleach and when it was too late. So, um, that's a fun fact for you though. It does not disinfect, which is weird. You would think bleach would disinfect regardless, but for some reason or another, it doesn't. And it does say it on the bottle in the very fine print that it is not a disinfectant. I think it still like whitens clothes and stuff. And it obviously still cleans, but it's not like regular bleach. And then it does get really sudsy. So if you were to use it in a case like this, I would not recommend it, but I did and it worked out, but I'm just trying to finish up that bottle. I will never purchase that splashless bleach again now that I've learned that fact. I just feel like the whole point of bleach is to disinfect. You can see inside our messy closets here, I have no excuse for my husband's. He just is messy and I don't clean his closet for him. Mine looks messy, it's actually really not, but that comforter there fell onto the floor and I just haven't picked it up because I'm lazy. <laughs> but it's really not that messy but that comforter did fall on the floor and my hamper is just sitting on top of it. And I noticed that when I was watching the clip back and I was like, oh, it looks so bad in there. I shared a couple weeks ago in a video, my little tip for changing the sheets on your bed. And it's like a no brainer, but somehow I just figured it out to go ahead and buy a second set of sheets and that way when you're ready to change out your sheets you can immediately go ahead and just put on some clean ones and then wash the others because i was finding that when i would go to wash my bed sheets it was just such a pain because i would have to wait all day between washing them and drying them and by the time i got back to it it was nighttime and i was ready to get into bed so i went ahead and just bought a second set and that way, when I take the old ones off, I can just put fresh ones on and it makes the process so much easier. And I will link the sheets that I absolutely love, 100% recommend. I will link them in the description box for you guys. If you've bought them, comment below, let people know how amazing they are. I've had so many people come back and tell me that they're the best sheets ever. So don't just take my word for it. Hit the comment section, read some of those comments because there's gonna be so many people telling you that they are amazing just like I said they are because they're really affordable. You get them on Amazon and they are so soft and incredible. I try to get closer to you Drinking courage from my red cup now I will soon make a move
As you can see in the bathroom, I did finally find some new knobs and put on in here. I just shared our bathroom cabinet makeover and how we did this whole process. But after the fact, when I was going to do my daughter's bathroom cabinets, I finally found the knobs that I liked. So my husband put those on for me the other day and I really like them. I think that it just adds a little bit something and changes it up and I just, I love them. And I, that's the ones we're gonna do on her bathroom as well. But I thought I would share with you. And if you missed that video, it is last week's video. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. And I'll try to remember to link it in the description box for you. I will you, that's all I know. So I had a bunch of laundry to do from camping. This is all of our camping bedding. So I wanted to throw that in the washer and get that washing because we are going camping again this weekend. So I wanted to wash everything and make it fresh and clean and good to go for this weekend when we go again. I was using this Gain Fresh Water Sparkle. I've never used it before. I do like it. It smells really good. I normally use my blue Suavitel, but I'm always changing things up. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys really quickly. We are in the process of redoing this bathroom, so be on the lookout for that. It is coming, not in this video, because obviously we're still in the process of it, but I'm hoping that next week I will have the reveal for you guys. So I did the first coat on here, and the cabinets are in the basement because I've already put a second coat on one side. I gotta flip them over into the other side. And then as you can see, the mirror situation, oh, you guys. I don't know who did this project, but somebody thought it was a genius idea to use liquid nails to glue the mirror on. And I don't know if you remember her old mirror, but the liquid nails went through the glass and like made it black. And it also ripped all the drywall. We kind of glued down the drywall so that it wasn't hanging. Um, because honestly, like if we were gonna do this right, we really just need to re-drywall that. But my husband's like not a fan of drywalling and really didn't want to get into that much work. So what we're going to do is just get a mirror that's going to cover that mess. There used to be a medicine cabinet in here at 1.2, obviously. And I don't know, they could have gotten so many different mirrors that would have covered that hole. I do not know why they glued it to the freaking wall, ah, but they did. And then up here, they made a big hole in the wall where the lighting goes, a huge hole. So... That was fun. I couldn't get the lighting that I wanted either without having to do drywall work because all the lighting I wanted wouldn't have covered that hole. So that being said, I'm still in the process of finding a mirror. I'm going to go to Kirkland's and try to find one. Um, I do have the lighting. I've found some lighting that I like and I got some new hardware for her cabinets, which I got some for ours too. I showed you um, and I got her a new shower curtain. Her room is a disaster right now because the bathroom is torn apart. But I got her a new shower curtain and shower rod and everything. So we're in the process. It'll be coming soon. We're also going to be painting in here. We're getting rid of this blue color. Um, the color I got is called alpaca. Which I love because we have alpacas right back here. And um, it's a really pretty neutral color. I'm really excited to see it on the wall. But anyways, yeah, and I'm also going to be like cleaning this grout really good and giving it a really good clean. And I, anyways, next week you guys will see the bathroom reveal. So make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss that because it's going to be a huge transformation. I'm so excited about it. I already loved just seeing that I feel like has made such a difference. All right, so to get started downstairs in the kitchen, I'm just lighting my Bath & Body Works candle in the mint lemon leaf, I think is what that one's called. And it smells pretty good. It's not my favorite, but it is a good kitchen scent. So I went ahead and lit it. It is really strong, and I do love the throw of Bath & Body Works candles. They're my favorite candles. I'll only buy them when they're on sale. <laughs> and even then, I still like. I feel like they're kind of expensive at like $12, but... I love them. And then I picked up this cleaner at Publix. It's real simple and it's in cherry blossom and rose. It smells so good. You guys, I think I might like the smell of this better than the Mrs. Myers rose, which if you've been with me for a while, you know how much I love the Mrs. Myers rose scent, but this one smells probably a little bit better. I don't know. It's just so good. So if you can get your hands on it, I would definitely recommend trying it. I think they had another scent too, but I can't remember what it was. But basically this cleaner is like a non-toxic cleaner. That's what they market it to be anyways. So this was my first time trying it and I really like it. I like it a lot. It smells amazing. It didn't leave any residue or streaks or anything and it did a good job. So I love it.
You're stronger now than you ever been. You gotta leave now, it's time to catch the wind. You will climb up high and look through the clouds. And when you're feeling low, I know you'll bounce back. I'm using my soft scrub with the Oxy to clean my sink. I've been on the hunt for this for so long. It's one of my favorite cleaning things that I've ever tried, the one with Oxy. It smells like laundry. It smells so good, but it's hard to find. But I did find it at Publix when I went in there, so I grabbed two bottles of it. I did use it to wipe down my appliances. I wasn't sure how it was gonna work. They were really, really dirty and I didn't show that on camera and I should have, but my fridge was like disgusting. It had like fingerprints and food caked on it. It gets so dirty so fast. I normally clean my stainless steel with my Indust. That's my favorite way. It shines it up and makes it look beautiful. But I had that and I just kind of wanted to try it. It worked really good to clean it. It did leave a little bit of streak, so it's not something that I would do regularly, but it did fine for just trying to tidy up and everything. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I normally use my Bissell Crosswave to do the floors. It's my mop and vacuum in one. I absolutely love it, but something happened. I went to use it the other day and the charging base is not charging it anymore. So it, it, it still technically works, but it's not charging. So I have to contact Bissell and see if they won't send me the charging base and see if that fixes the problem. I don't know why all of a sudden it stopped charging because nothing happened but it did. So it's such a bummer because it saves me so much time. So on this day I had to vacuum and then go back in and steam mop. So that's why I'm doing it this way. I do like to change it up anyways and I do like using my steam mop from time to time anyways. So I wasn't that disappointed, but I do miss it. I will tell you, I miss it so much because it vacuums up everything and it mops the floors all at the same time. So it just saves me so much time. So hopefully this will cooperate with me and help me and send me that new charging base and hopefully that fixes the problem. All right, so last but not least, I wanted to tidy up our living room. And as you can see, it is a disaster. Nobody knows how to put their dishes up but me. <laughs> and there's toys everywhere, which I don't mind the toys because that means that Kensley was playing and I love to watch her play and use her imagination. They were actually outside swimming in their little pool right out back, Madeline was with her. And so they were having fun. So I didn't really mind cleaning up for them on this day. So I just, honestly, I don't even really clean up for them. Let's be honest. I put everything in this basket and they go put it up themselves. But that's kind of the system we have because we do have a two story home. So I have that basket. I put all their toys in it and I put it at the bottom of the stairs and then they empty it out. So when they came in later, they had to empty that toy bucket and put it all where it goes. So it's really not me cleaning up after them. It's kind of half and half. But then I'm just using this Tide antibacterial fabric refreshing spray. It smells really good like laundry and I'm just spraying everything down and vacuuming my leather couches because they do have like crumbs and dog hair and stuff. Just freshening everything up and then I use that same real simple spray to wipe down all of the furniture. Trying to get away from this life I'm living Same old things every day Wanna change this feeling Wasting no more time Don't care about what you're saying Try to keep me down No time for all your playing Yeah, even if you doubt me now You 
Okay, so don't leave yet because the clips of our camping trip are coming up. If you do have little kids, definitely make sure they're in the room for this. I think they would really enjoy it. I showed a lot of animals and bugs, if your kids like bugs. And it's just really fun, and I'm really excited to share that with you guys because I know a lot of you are interested in our camping adventures. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. Thank you to everybody for supporting my channel and being kind. I hope everyone is doing great, and I hope you enjoy these clips from our camping trip. I will see you guys next week. Hey guys, we made it to our camping spot. We're all set up, pretty much, I think. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of everything we've got going on here. I've got Tucker down here fussing. My sister and them's campsite is over there, so I'll take you guys and show you a little bit over there too. But we're right on the water. My husband's already fishing. And I have bugs crawling on me. And, where is it? Right here. Kinsley has already caught tons of little baby tiny frogs. I'm gonna try to get up close so you can see them. They're the tiniest little toads I've ever seen in my life. They're like smaller than my pinky nail. Hey Tucker! I got the doggies on little, the little tie outs that I got from the Dollar General. Hi! That's where my sister and brother-in-law are. And then we have all this land in between us. And then we have the water right here. Kensley and my husband are fishing already. And then, let me see if I can show you these little tiny frogs. I don't know if it'll focus. That's one of them. He's not even the smallest one, I don't think. Come here, little froggy. Can you zoom in? Hi, Bailey May. Hi, Maddie. Hi. What you got? Pickles, creamer, yep. and what are you drinking? Diet Pepsi. Oh, oh, these are our pickles. These are for you. Thank you. And this was in my grocery pickup, and I didn't order it, so. Oh, thank you. What kind of pickles are these? Bread, Bread and butter. butter. With onions? Mm -hmm. Look, it's right there. Bread oh, okay. I'll put them in there. I see a Tucker. We got Charlie over there. I don't know if you can see him. Hi, Charlie. Charlie boy! Charlie is my sister's dog. But there's our camper. There's Uhtred. That's what I named my truck. Uhtred. <laughs> and we brought the boat with us too. So, this is our little camp spot. It's pretty nice. Are you searching for froggies and creatures? Yeah, and Look at my bucket. Oh yeah, we already looked in there. We saw all of them. We just caught two more little baby ones. And I caught a dead one. And a dead one. it was jumping. Just made my first meal in the camper. I got baked beans and mac and cheese. My sister and brother-in-law are making the meats and some pasta salad over on their grill. But everything worked great. Kinsley's got a cicada in here. Let's see. You think if we open this, he'll be okay? Mm -mm. I don't think he'll go out because he's shedding his skin on. 
He's already like halfway out. Mm. Close, close, close. Okay, I'll close it. I don't think Wait. he's going anywhere. He's Look like... at his eyes on his shell look so weird. They do. His eyes are still on his shell, huh? I didn't know you had, they gave you a mask too. The campers beside us brought Kinsley over a cape and a mask. Put your mask on. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool looking. Let me see. Let me see the back of your cape. Wow, you look awesome. You're the cicada, cicada superhero. He's so cool. He's like a blue color. Oh, look, he's moving. He's green. I wish I could get in there closer. Or like, can we move yeah, him I back? It, well, I tried earlier, but I don't... Ooh, Ooh. Ooh. Look at him. What's on his belly? He's blue on his... He is blue. He's beautiful. He looks like the sea. He looks like an alien. Looks like yeah. sea on the belly. There we go. Oh, wow. He is cool. Looking. I broke the shell's his leg legs. off. You moving his legs? And he was already He's out. all the way out now. There's his shell. Thanks so we you. had found the shell to another one. And then she found this one. And he just so happened to be shedding his shell. So she got to see the process, which is pretty cool. So he's completely out now. Yeah. It's a really pretty blue color. You're going to touch him while you're rubbing his shell? Let me see. Oh, wow. They're so cool. Look a very pretty shiny color. Was that a cool process that you got to witness there? Yeah, but how are we going to find... Yeah, it kind of looks like one of those things that have the tail. It's not coming off on camera, Crap. like how blue he is. I'm going to try to get a picture. of. I like it. You're brave. Too brave, actually. Too brave, actually. All right, day two camping. It's Tuesday. The girls and my sister and I are all going to go to a place called the Homestead. It's a working farm, it's supposed to be people in costume doing like their daily chores. There's supposed to be some heirloom seeds with plants growing there and some animals as well. So we're super excited. Animals. Yeah, animals. Say hi, Maddie. Hi. So hi. that's what we're up to today. So cool. Look at the old quilts hanging out to dry because they washed them. We got the windows open. So they don't have El they don't have Elsie. <laughs> they don't have AC and they've got a little shed back there. You want to go look at this house? They got an old flagpole here too. Isn't that cool? They don't have a flag on it, but look, it's just basically a big old tree. Go ahead. So this was their front porch and her little workstation where she maybe folded her quilts when she was done with them and they were dry. Wow, this was one of the bedrooms. They have laundry hanging from the ceiling. Storage. Yeah, look at all the rocking chairs. These were the toys. It's a little toy ship and a little cradle with baby dolls. Yeah. And those are baby doll clothes in there and some baby quilts. Oh, it was recording. Ah, they were you taking a picture of each tall. other. She is so much taller than Rachel. How much taller she look is. how much taller. And Stand look at right. Her hands. Oh, yeah. So hands. Maddie's hand is way bigger and her feet. <laughs> it's chicken. There's a duck over there, too. You want to pet them? Their little garden. So cute. I didn't know there were chickens behind me. This is what they ate for dinner. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Right there. That's fresh chicken nuggets. Like that. Did you hear them? Yeah. Blue. These guys are huge. Look how big. Can't even tell 
on here how big they are in person. They're massive. What do you use these for? Um, probably pulling like farm equipment and stuff to plow like the land and stuff I would assume yeah. to pull heavy stuff logs and stuff There's your first car Maddie <laughs> As long as I can put a horse to him, fine <laughs> Well, that one about ran into me. Yeah, she was like, Do Hi, friend. Um, I don't know. They didn't say if we could or couldn't. I wouldn't. I don't know if he's friendly or not. Hi, bud. Can I? Do you see how curly his fur is or his wool? Can I get him? No. I want to try to. I'm sure he won't hurt me. <laughs> He's so sweet, isn't he? Hi, baby. Did he, I feel like he could just climb out of that. That's what I said. He looks like he could just climb right out of there if he wanted to. Guess not. Those flies are bothering him. Where is he going? I want to see how he walks. Is she riding you around? That's so funny. Like riding a dolphin. Madeline, call him. Come on, Tucker. Come on. Come on, Tucker. Come on. Come on. He says, nope. Come on, Tucker. Come on, Tucker. Come on, Tucker. Harley's like, man, this is Oh, he wants back in, honey. He's scared. He's like, Mom. <laughs> Bailey's in love, <laughs> You look like a yeah, drowned rat, right bud. I just don't know how willing he's going to be to go all the way out, but he's big, so. I can, yeah, I can think about that. If he gets tired, he needs to come back in. Because I thought this went and he still wasn't submerged. So, so like, I think we'll see how Feeling from the start, you might be the guy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jessica. Today we're doing an extreme whole house clean with me. This is two days of some extreme cleaning motivation. I cleaned my whole house. I did some deep cleaning and I'm gonna be showing you guys real life messes and it's just gonna be totally satisfying. So you definitely wanna stay tuned for this and you do not wanna miss this video. Stuck in the middle. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing an extreme clean with me. I haven't cleaned the house in like all week basically and it's Wednesday. So I've got a lot to do and I'm going to bring you guys along. I just wanted to take a second to say hi to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. We're almost to 100,000. Yay! My birthday is July 23rd. So this month and um, my goal was to make 100,000 by my birthday. I still think we can do it, but we're kind of cutting it close. But anyways, 
Let's go ahead and get started cleaning because I have so much to do and I honestly am dreading it. But I know once I get started, I will get motivated because that's always the way it works for me. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and start a load of my cleaning rags. So I keep them in these little plastic containers that I get from the Dollar Tree. And then I have a sanitized cycle on my washing machine and my dryer. So I just wash them with detergent. I like the Persil. And then I use the Lysol cleaner that somebody actually sent me. And I really like this for cleaning my rags. I feel like it really gets them really clean and they smell really sanitized, this Lysol concentrate right here. And I just wash them in the hottest water on the longest cycle and then I dry them on the longest hottest cycle as well. Today's video is going to be a collab with my friend Emily and I'm going to go ahead and let her introduce herself. Hey everyone, my name is Emily and my channel is Crazy Cleaning Mama because I have four kids that are five and under. So my house is constantly messy. I'm always showing you guys the real life messes. I do a lot of organizing cleaning motivation, some decor recently on my channel. I've been doing a lot more decor, moving things and switching things up in my house. I also do a lot of grocery hauls and just a lot of fun stuff over on my channel. So I would love if you would come over and check out some of my content and consider subscribing if you enjoy it. We have an amazing community over there. It's just such a positive and uplifting one and I really hope to see you guys over on my channel. So if you do go over, please make sure to leave me a comment. I love getting to know you guys. So if you are new here, hi and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. If you came over from Emily's channel, thank you so much for coming over and checking out my channel. I do tons of cleaning over here and I like sharing tips and I'm always using new cleaning products and things like that. So I think that it's really fun to learn about new products that are out there and to just kind of hang out with you guys. I love interacting with you in the comments. So definitely leave me a comment, especially if you are new. I would like to say, hey, I would love for you to introduce yourself. But as far as Emily, for my viewers, I really want you guys to go check out her channel because she has some great cleaning motivation because like she said, she has four kids. They're all young. So she has tons of messes like every day and I don't know how she does it, but she's always so calm and I just feel like she has a calming presence. She's very sweet. Her and her husband are very young, but they're so mature for their age. They have a beautiful home. Her mom and dad are absolutely precious. You just have to get to know Emily and you will fall in love with her, I promise you. Okay, so really quickly, I wanted to share this tip with you about the sheets. So recently I ordered some new sheets on Amazon and I will link them for you below. They're amazing. You definitely have to try these out, especially if you're in the market for new sheets. They're extremely soft and very affordable. But what I did was I went ahead and I bought a second pair of sheets or a second set of sheets. That way when I do go and change my bedding, I was having to take it off and wash it and then dry it. And then it would be late that evening when we were wanting to get in bed before they actually got on the bed. And that was so frustrating to me. So I went ahead and bought a second pair of sheet. That way, when I take the old ones off to wash them, then I can just put the new ones on and I don't have to wait in between. I can just get it done right then and there. So this is my little Swiffer 360 duster. I really like the 360s because they go all the way around. It doesn't really matter, but I really do like it. But these are great. If you've never had one, get one. I, I'm going to try to show you a close-up of my dresser with the dust and stuff on it and show you, bloop, you just wipe it off and it's gone that quick and easy. Love it. Dust and stuff on it and show you, bloop, you just wipe it off and it's gone that quick and easy. Love it. Okay, so I want to shampoo my carpets. I have never shampooed them since we lived in this house we moved in in October of last year. So I'm going to run the Swiffer really quick over the furniture just because that takes literally 60 seconds. And then I'm going to go in the basement and dig out the old carpet shampooer. I don't even know if it still works. It should. And hopefully I can find carpet shampoo. But if I can't find carpet shampoo for it, um, a little tip, something you can do, you can actually use a little bit of fabric softener mixed in with the hot water for your carpets. It not only smells amazing, but it's totally fine. I've done it before. So if I can't find the carpet shampoo, that's what I'm going to do. Um, but I think it's really satisfying to watch people shampoo their carpets, but mine could probably really use it. So I'm going to vacuum them really, really good first, and then I'm going to um, shampoo them. So I'll take you guys in the basement with me so you can see where where it's where it is it's pretty scary down there
I did go ahead and vacuum my floors before I did the carpet shampooer because I wanted to get any dog hair, any dust, anything that was in the carpets up. But my carpet shampooer really gets in there deep and it will pull out like clumps of hair and dust and things like that. And you will actually see that in the footage. You can see some little dark spots that get pulled up from it. It's crazy how much it pulls out of the carpet. But I always prep my carpet first by vacuuming it. I know we were acting stupid I picked up this new cleaner at Walmart. I found it online and I just ordered it with my groceries because I wanted something different to try out. And I really like it. It's by Great Value. It's in that lemon scent. It just smells really clean. I found that after I cleaned my bathroom with it on this day, that my bathroom still smelled fresh and clean hours later, which I really do like when cleaning products linger and you walk into the room and you can just smell that it's been cleaned. So I really like that one and it was like, I think it was less than $2. I use these little dish ones that I get from the Dollar Tree to clean out my showers and bathtubs. I find that they work so good. They're so easy to use and they're so inexpensive. You can fill them up with like some dish soap and vinegar if you want and I have done that. It works fine but I really don't even need to do that because I am always using different cleaning products and stuff so I've always got something and so on this day I was just using that new cleaning product that I had found because my bathtub's not really it doesn't like get filled up and like scummy in there because I use it almost every day so I do wash it almost every well I wouldn't say every day I wash it at least once a week sometimes a couple times a week because I do bathe in there almost every night I like to just soak in the bath and relax so it'll get like a ring around it of like dirt and oils or any products that I use in there. So I do wipe it down quite often. So it doesn't really get like stuck in there, but I use all sorts of different products in my bathtub. If you guys have seen videos of mine before, you know, I like the Kaboom spray that turns like white when it's done doing its job supposedly, but that works really good. And I've used Barkeeper's Friend in there. I've used Comment. I've used a lot of things and I like all of those things, but um, I just, you know, I told you, I like to use cleaning products. I like using new stuff and I like so many different things. So many different things worked really well too. Yes, to grab my carpet shampooer. It is a mess down here. I hate this room. This is like the storm shelter part of our basement. Here it is. Is <laughs> that your Christmas tree? Okay. I just lugged this thing up the basement stairs and then up the stairs. So I'm out of breath. But anyways, it's the Bissell Pro Heat. Um, I've had it for so many years, they probably don't even sell this model anymore. And then I do have carpet shampoo and I'm using this Resolve Pet Expert in there. 
So let's hope it still works. It should. It's always worked great. So I'm going to go ahead. Hi, Bailey. And get it set up and shampoo the carpet. What do you think? Yeah. You're going to have to stay out of here. You understand? You too, Hi. mister. You both are going to have to stay out of here, okay? And you too, missy. <laughs> be lying and tell you you're fine i could be lying the rest of the night but i won't do it no no way i'm saying so i could pretend that you're doing okay i could give in when you want it your way but i I did have a couple of spots in the carpet here, like black spots. I'm not sure what they're from. I think they were here from the previous owners. So I did use the little attachment to try to get them up and I don't really think they came up. Eventually we would like to replace this carpet on camera. It looks really nice, but in our bedroom, they did not lay it right. There's actually a big crease that you can see over by our window and there are some stains in it especially like on the stairs in the bathroom that go down to our bathroom that carpet's really worn and kind of stained and then in the girls bedrooms when they painted those bedrooms they were like really dark neon bright colors and they spilt paint on the carpet so they have stains on their carpets so they kind of i mean they look pretty good on camera you can't really tell but in real life they really it would be really great to be able to replace the carpet eventually so someday i would like to rip up all the carpet upstairs and put down something else all right so kinsley's room i'm gonna vacuum in here and then i'm gonna shampoo it too but i keep hearing this noise in her toy box like there's something in there i'm scared it might be a mouse so we're gonna check and see oh <gasps> <laughs> You're silly. It's not a mouse, it's a Kensley. <laughs> So while I was vacuuming her room, preparing it to shampoo the carpets, I remembered that I wanted to use my little steam cleaner. Hi! Let me pick your nose. Are you Snow, or who is this? Snow White? I'm Snow White. Are you Snow White? Anyways, I'm going to use this little steamer that I bought off Amazon. I'll link it for you guys. It has these little attachments. Here's one. It's just like a um, like precision, I guess, or detailed. And then it has the little brush. Whoa, this is like really, really hard to scrub. And I'm going to use it on, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, on her grout in her bathroom because 
it's not, I'm trying to find a spot. This is probably like the color it's supposed to be. No, here. This is probably the color it's supposed to be, but it's dirty. And I've been trying out different ways of cleaning grout. And while I was doing that, I thought I had the seam cleaner and that would be a really good tool. So I'm gonna check it out, see if it works. You guys will find out with me. What are you doing? Oh, you're filling up the cup for me? Well, thank you very much. So while she was doing that, you just saw me make a face at the camera. It's because I realized that when I wasn't looking, she had put soap into that little container that you use to fill up the steam cleaner and you definitely don't want soap in there. That would have been a disaster. So I kind of rolled my eyes because I was like, are you kidding me? So I had to rinse that out really good so that I didn't have a disaster on my hands. But yeah, she was playing in the sink and I thought she was just filling it up with water for me, but she was actually putting soapy water in there. We are going to be redoing both of our girls' bathrooms very soon. As you saw in our master bathroom, we have gray cabinets. We're going to be taking their cabinets off and sanding them and painting them as well. Hopefully within the next week, that's the plan. I've already got the paint. I've got everything. I'm going to be painting her bathroom. I'm getting rid of that blue color. I've got a new shower curtain. It's getting a complete makeover. And then Madeline's cabinets are as well. So stay tuned for that because that is coming really soon. And I'm so excited about it. So the grout did not work out and I do have a clip where I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on that. That steam cleaner did absolutely nothing for the grout, but I tried, it didn't work, so now I know to move on to something else. I've gotten so many recommendations from you guys and I still plan on using those. I did pick up some Lysol toilet bowl cleaner that some of you had recommended. It has hydrogen peroxide in it, so I plan to try that next. I'm just going to let it soak for a little bit while before I go and scrub and I'm going to use the Reveal scrubber brush that I bought for the grout as well and I'm hoping that that will work, but if not, I'll move Move on to the next thing. the dirty water so it's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be I mean that's kind of to be expected but yeah ew look at that big hairball that's pretty gross it gets a lot of hair out of the carpet more than my Kirby can do say hi YouTube everybody asks what Tucker is what breed he is he's a Morky Poo so he's a Maltese Poodle and a Yorkie. Say hello. Okay, so these are not completely dry, but you can still see the difference. And so that method didn't work at all, which I'm actually disappointed in because I thought it would work really good, but it didn't. So I'm going to try that little reveal. Hi brush that I got I showed in a couple of videos ago the one that like spins and some kind of a cleaner so you guys give me tons of suggestions on different cleaners so I'm gonna try a different one this time than I tried last time and try to clean these again because I don't think that really did anything at all which I'm really surprised I thought that it would at least help Watch. <laughs> but it didn't you're so silly. Say, mom, stop cleaning and give me some love. Can you nudge me again? Hmm. Give me that little tail. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> You're a silly boy. So I wanted to show you guys how messy the rest of the house is since I've been upstairs cleaning all day. Well, not all day. I mean, I started around noon and it's 4.30, but <laughs> 
I've been cleaning for a while. So the downstairs is a mess. I've got Amazon boxes and I mean, the kitchen's not really that bad, to be honest with you, now that I'm looking at it. But I mean, it's not clean though. It's, it's not really cluttered, but it's not clean. Like it needs a wipe down. And the living room, it's so dark in here, but the living room is a mess. The living room is trashed. I'm debating on whether or not I want to clean in here today or just wait until tomorrow. I'm going to open the blinds. There. Added some light so y'all can see. It's such a gloomy day outside. But yeah, it's a mess. Nobody knows how to put their dishes up or throw their trash away. Nobody. Only I do. So yeah, I think I'm just going to do the downstairs tomorrow. I'm over it for today. My husband's on his way home from work. I'm going to be cooking dinner soon. So I'm going to be making more messes and we're going to be spending time as a family in the living room. So I think it's pointless to clean it right now. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to have to clean tomorrow too, but I don't think it'll be too bad to clean down here tomorrow. So you guys will see me again tomorrow Good morning, you guys. So it's the next day and I'm about to tackle the downstairs part of my house and do some laundry. I am not feeling it today. Not motivated. I have like allergies. My eyes keep watering. So it looks like I'm crying at any point in this video. It's just my allergies. My kids are fighting and I don't know. It's just one of those days, but I need to get it cleaned up. So I'm going to do it because I know when I'm done cleaning it, I'll feel so much better. It's just getting started. I always feel so overwhelmed, but I get asked all the time, like, how do you stay motivated to clean? And honestly, I'm not always motivated. It's more about keeping your eye on the prize. And I just know that when it's done, how good I'll feel. And so I'm basically seeking out that feeling of when I'm done. So that's, that's what I've got my mindset on. And then sometimes it helps to play music. So I might actually do that today. I think I'm going to put my, um, ear pods in and listen to some upbeat music to get me going. Cause I just feel really low energy and just, not in a good mood and it's kind of like it's almost that time of month so i think that has a lot to do with it but um i don't know i'm just i'm a girl and we get in moods and i'm in a bad mood and i'm just like you guys i get in bad moods i'm not happy go lucky and like super motivated and always on top of things every day um i'm just not i'm a normal person just like anyone else that's watching my videos i know you guys struggle too so do I, girl. So do I. And I know I have some boys watching me too, so, um, you know. I don't know what to say about that. So anyways, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. But I wanted to show you my shirt really quick. It says, Mind Your Own Motherhood. I thought it was really cute. I like how it has, like, the leopard print or the cheetah print on it. And I'm in my sweatpants, by the way. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> I'm in my sweatpants. That reflects how I'm feeling, you guys. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. This is this is what I'm doing right now. I'm procrastinating. This is what I'm doing, but we're gonna do it. I wanted to show you guys, if you remember in my summer morning routine, I was talking about my pool being green and I asked for tips and you guys helped a girl out. You always come through for me. So you were telling me I could do like chlorine tablets in there and get a little floater. Now I thought this little guy was gonna be smaller from the way he looked on Amazon, but it's okay, he'll still work. So this opens up and you put a chlorine tablet in it, which mine are still in the way. I ordered them from Amazon and they're taking forever to get here. Um, but once I get those, I'll just put a disc in there and then he sits in the pool and he floats around and he keeps the algae at bay. So I'm really excited to try him. Everybody's telling me that that should work. So um, they did have different animals, but I thought the turtle was adorable. So that's what he is in case anyone sees him on the counter and wonders. He is my little pool float for my chlorine tablet so that it won't be green. Mistakes on us, but 
But do they really doubt us? Your tongue can be sharp Cut me close to the heart But we can master the art And the thing is that these scars Are scary but they are Just small scars We should never be afraid of them You and I know when we are Too far apart Everything just falls apart So how is everyone's summer going so far? I feel like we've been so busy, it's just non-stop. And I feel like the summer is going by so fast. So how has it been for you guys? Have you been busy? Or do you feel like the summer is different with everything going on? Or do you feel like you've been more busy? Or do you feel like you're bored out of your mind and you have nothing going on? What are you up to? What are some things you've been doing? Let me know in the comments. We have been outside a lot. We've been riding on our Razor. We are going camping soon. If you didn't see, we got a new camper. We're gonna be going camping at least a couple of times in July. And we have had family up visiting, well down visiting because they came from Indiana and we are in Tennessee. Um, and then we've actually went up to Indiana and visited family. And uh, I don't know, I just feel like we've got something going on all the time, but we're having a lot of fun. So that's good. cleaning I decided to move that pedestal I had gotten that from Zizo and Co I'll have them linked I always have them linked in the description box those pedestals that I have around my house they're always in the description box so if you're interested you can always check that out I have a link to their Etsy shop and they have an Instagram as well but they had made that one for me and sent it I love that color and I had just set it there but I didn't know like that, that that's where I wanted it to be so as I was cleaning I changed it over here I still don't know if this is where I'm gonna keep it but I do like it there for now um, but yeah, like I said, I'll have them linked in the description box if you're interested. Their pedestals are so adorable. They have so many different designs, but you can also have them make you a custom one if you have like a color in mind or a size in mind or a shape in mind. They're amazing at what they do and they're so sweet and their shipping is really fast. About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down Maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me
gonna go ahead and refill my Bath and Body Works wallflower here because this one was empty as you could see. You guys are always asking me for like my favorite scents. I love black raspberry vanilla. I love the kitchen lemon. I'm always trying new ones. They're always coming out with new ones and I'm always trying them. So I love so many of them. I've hardly ever been disappointed in a scent. But I also like the lavender vanilla, the lilac, or I think it's fresh cut lilacs. Um, the raspberry tangerine that they have out right now is really good. I love their Georgia peach, their honeysuckle. I love pretty much all of them. They smell so good. Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are the knives. Mm -hmm. I don't need that type of drama and trying to be tough all the damn time. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the rematch. share with you guys these adorable book stacks. This one says easy peasy lemon squeezy and it has the really cute lemon ribbon on it. I think it's so adorable. We love lemonade and I think it looks so cute in my house but Ashley actually made this for me. She makes these. She has an Etsy shop. She has an Instagram as well. I put her Instagram handle on the screen there and I'm gonna link her Etsy for you guys in the description box if you're interested in checking out her Etsy, you can go there and she has all kinds of different book stacks and different designs and she can custom make them for you if you want like it to say something specific. She can put like your family's names on there. She does like holiday themed ones, but they're so cute and I think that they look great with so many different types of decor, but I'm just loving the lemonade one for summer. She was nice enough to give me a coupon code for you guys to save 15% off. It's just Jessica15. So when you go check out on Etsy where it gives you that option to put a coupon code, just put in Jessica15 and you will save 15%. So I just showed you a really cool hack right there. You can take cotton balls to soak up your hot wax when you're ready to change out your Scentsy scents. It soaks it right up. It's super easy and fast. I love doing that that way. I know there are other ways, the freezer trick, I just can't be bothered with that. Some of the Scentsy's don't have the lid that lifts off the way that they're made, so that's not even an option. But the ones that do is just time consuming. When I wanna change out my scent, I wanna change it out. So if you just take a cotton ball and you drop it in there when the wax is hot, it's so it right up and then you can go ahead and change out your scent and that is my favorite way of doing it it's so quick and easy Trying to get away from this life I'm living Same old things every day Wanna change this feeling Wasting no more time Don't care about what you're saying Try to keep me down No time for all your playing Yeah, even if you doubt me now You should know I don't care about The things you say So I'm making some sweet tea for my husband here. I do have a video on how I make this like more detailed, but basically I just use the teas that I showed you and then I do, I think four of the family size bags. I don't even measure the water I put in the pot. <laughs> I've been making this for so many years that I don't even need to measure, but I do have a video. I'm gonna try to find it for you. It's really, really, really old, but I'm gonna try to find that video for you and link it if you're interested in knowing my sweet tea recipe. It is really, really good, but I've been making it for so long that I don't even measure anymore. I just eyeball it all.
I am using Invest to wipe down my stainless steel appliances. It does an amazing job of polishing them up and making them shine. So that is my favorite thing to use on my stainless steel. It works great for polishing your wood or you can even use it on your granite. You can use it in the interior of your car, but I love using it for my stainless steel. So here's my infamous cup cabinet that in my summer morning routine, if you saw that I was in there trying to make my pre-workout and this stuff was all falling out onto the floor. It does that almost every time. It's so annoying. This is where we keep like our Tupperware and things like that too. So I finally decided it was time to go through and organize it and make it way more functional and get rid of what we weren't using because we had way too many cups in there. So it didn't take me very long. I think it took me 10 minutes to do this whole cabinet. And I, now it's so much nicer when you open it, nothing falls out and you can see everything you have. And it's just so much nicer. Something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. You're crazy for saying I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk and too scared and lie you. If only you knew I would die. If you're still with me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy these cleaning videos i do put them out almost every single week and i love making them for you guys i love help helping to motivate you and inspire you and i love sharing new cleaning products and tips and hacks with you guys yes i'm just too scared to settle down that be many nights i got too hot and almost left town but there's something about you Something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk and too scared and lie. So now I'm just cleaning the floor in the kitchen real quick with my Bissell Crosswave. This is a mop and vacuum in one. So it sucks up any hair or debris, even like cereal or anything. It does pick out pick up some pretty large debris. And then it also puts out water when you pull the trigger and it sucks that water back up. So it's kind of like a wet dry vac and it does an amazing job. It gets so much off the floor and I love it because it cuts my floor time in half because I don't have to vacuum and then mop. I can vacuum and mop at, it at the same time. I get too drunk and too scared and lie you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us gotta say the obvious. Nobody loves me better yet. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us gotta say the obvious. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. Got the feeling from the start you might be the guy who break my heart all right guys if you made it this far thank you so much for watching this entire video i appreciate all of y'all's support i hope this gave you some cleaning motivation and got you inspired to get up and clean your own homes thank you so much for everything that you guys do for me and making this possible don't forget to check out emily's channel i'm gonna have her video linked in the description box for you go over there show emily some love tell her i sent you say hey and help us make this collab a successful one. I have known Emily from the very beginning of my YouTube career. So I have known her for three and a half years and honestly, I can honestly say she's like so genuine and kind and real and you guys will love her content. So I will see you guys next week. Stuck in the middle with you. you and I are so alike and I guess it can be bad sometimes, don't know. Stumble in the dark you kept pushing on, but then you went too far. When you ship a sail and all your dreams are lost.
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Jessica. Today I'm getting it all done. I'm doing some cleaning motivation for you guys. I did a bathroom makeover and there's also a grocery haul in here. So make sure you stay tuned to the very end because I'm doing a before and after reveal of our daughter's bathroom and how it turned out. It turned out so beautiful. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I hope you get tons of motivation from today's video. Don't forget to subscribe before you head out and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let me show you what I'm working with today before we get started. I've got this laundry that needs to be cleaned. Hi, Tucker. That's dirty laundry. Need to make my bed. Need to put away clothes. Um, I have laundry going, as you can hear in here. Dirty clothes, dirty clothes from camping. I need to empty out the camper fridge, and I need to do a ton, ton of laundry, but here's the big thing, so let's go. All right, so here is the big disaster, the big project of the day that I really want to complete. If not today, definitely by tomorrow, but I'm gonna bring you along. So Kinsley's room is a disaster because we've been making over her bathroom, and I'm gonna show you that in a minute, but I've got like some things that I've bought to put in there. We had to put new lighting and stuff. We've got her dirty clothes, which I also need to do her laundry. I've got the mop in here, her new shower curtain, the stool I was using to paint. I've got her bag from camping and stuff, but it's just a mess, but I will show you in here. Let me turn the light on. So this is what we have so far. I painted the cabinets white. Now, if you notice, <laughs> we ran out of handles. I thought I got enough and I was one short, so I need to get another handle, but I think I'm going to switch because I did put these in our master bath. I think just for the sake of completing her bathroom, I'm going to give her one of mine and then I can run to Lowe's sometime this week and get one more handle. But painted those white. I have a new mirror. I think it's out on the front porch actually. I have new lighting. Let me see if you can see better when I turn it off. So I have that lighting. I don't know if you remember what was up there, but I'm going to try to show you a before clip. But then I have the new paint color. This is called Alpaca, and I absolutely love this gray. It is a very neutral gray. It is not a blue gray or a purple gray. It's like a beigey gray, and I love it. So anyways, though, as you can see, it's a disaster in here. I was sharing on Instagram, whoever put her mirror up before this, they glued it to the wall. <laughs> oh. And so we had to rip it off and it caused a lot of drywall damage and we didn't really want to put drywall up. That wasn't in part of our plans for this project. So we actually just got a mirror to cover it, but we are going to hang it the proper way. There used to be a medicine cabinet in there as well. I don't know why on earth somebody would glue a mirror to the wall, but they did. So we're paying for that, but it's going to look so, so much better anyways when I'm done in here and I got to clean though. I'm going to clean everything really good. I'm going to clean her grout. Um, because it is not, you can see it's kind of like brown and it's actually supposed to be like a really light beigey gray color. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to bring you guys along for that whole process and I'm going to clean her room and you'll get to see what it looks like as well. So that's the plans for today. I don't know about you guys, but I fail at laundry so bad. I'm always behind and I always have laundry to do and I'm only a family of four. So I don't know how you guys do it when you have like a family of five, six, seven, eight. It is so much for me to keep up with. I have no problem really washing it, but folding it and putting it away is always like so dreaded for me and it takes me forever but I did finally get it done and it always feels so good when it's finally done. So yay, go me.
I did get some new clothing in from Yvette Sportswear and they are sponsoring today's video. So thank you so much for sponsoring today's video, Yvette. I absolutely love their clothing and I'm super duper excited to share it with you guys. I've been wearing their clothes for months and months. I can attest to the quality, super high quality, super fast shipping, very, very cute. They're always coming out with new styles. So definitely check out the description box for more information. Hey guys, so the first outfit that I'm gonna show you, well, this shirt you've already seen, I've worn it in several of my videos. I love these tanks from Yvette, but I have these pants and they've got like these stripes and I think they're really cool and the green color is really pretty. So it's like a, um, I don't even know what kind of green you would call that. And then it fades up into like a lime green and then it goes into like a hunter green. So it's the three different tones and they're in a way, like the pattern is in a way that's like kind of slimming. So I do like that about them. And then of course the quality of them is just amazing as all the other Yvette leggings that I own. And then the bra that I have on actually matches these pants, which is really cute. So it's that really cool, whatever kind of, I don't know what color green you would call this. Somebody tell me. And then like the hunter green and then the back is really cute as well. But I just paired it with this black tank because I felt like black was neutral and I really didn't know what else would go with it. Maybe gray. What do you guys think? Okay. Next outfit is this lavender tank. It kind of flows out a little bit. So I like how it's not like super fitted to me. It's got some room and it's got a little slit on the side and the back is just a racer back. And then these are the gray, they're like charcoal gray leggings and these are the compression ones. So they have, let me show you in the mirror. So they have this like um, section of fabric right here that is super, super duper gonna suck you in. Um, these are awesome. I would recommend with these leggings possibly sizing up one size just because they're no joke gonna suck you in but if you really really do just want to be sucked in then stick with your normal size okay and then i got this t-shirt i love it super soft comfortable i love the way that it's cut i feel like all of yvette's clothing they really think about like the cut of their clothing because it's all very very flattering it's not just going to be like a normal t-shirt or a normal tank the way that they cut it makes them look so cute on. This one comes in several different colors. I can't remember all of them, but I know pink and then green. So I will leave the links for everything below so you can check them out. But I know that this one came in several different colors. I'm still wearing the same leggings. They did send me a black pair that is a lot like a lot of the other black pairs I have. I'm still gonna show you. I'm just not gonna try them on. And then they sent me a another bra that I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so here is one of the other sports bras that they sent me. It's got like the mesh in between and it's this really pretty army green and then this crisscross detailing in the back all of their sports bras are amazingly super comfortable very very high quality I love these I live in them you guys I live in their sports bras I live in their sportswear I seriously love it I highly recommend it I would not work with them over and over and over again if I didn't okay here is the other pair of black leggings that they sent me they are not a buttery smooth material like some of the other ones I have they're more of like a spandexy material they just have the little Yvette symbol right here this is reflective and they are high-waisted they do have a little adjustable cinch in here so you can even tighten it if you wanted to and the back just looks like this now this is important though because like I was saying they really pay attention to detail in their clothing and they're gonna make it to where it flatters you it makes you look your very best so as you can see it's got this seam right here. And what that does is it really helps to shape and lift your booty. So that is important. It might not seem important, but it is important. And they really pay attention to those details. So that is another reason that I absolutely love Yvette sportswear. All right, guys. So that is my little try on haul for you guys. But I wanted to just come on here and tell you face to face how much I love Yvette sportswear. I wear them all the time that you can be seen in all of my most recent videos. They're my favorite, favorite sportswear clothing brand as of right now. They have really cute clothing, very fast shipping. I feel like they're very affordable. 
I have a coupon code, Jesse15 will save you 15% off, so they're even more affordable. And I feel like they're very flattering to your body and they just really pay attention to detail. So if you guys want to check out anything that I showed today or just check out their website in general, then check the description box. I'll have everything linked for you there specifically that I showed. And then you can browse the website as well. And as I mentioned briefly on the screen there, they are doing free shipping today only, which is Wednesday when this video went live, July 29th, free shipping. So you can use my coupon code, jesse15, and get free shipping, which is a pretty cool deal. So if you are wanting to try out something, now's a great time. Or if you already have tried stuff and you wanted to get more, today is a really good day to go shopping. It might be a little loud in here because I have the fan going because that was hot, but um, this is clean. And I do have my husband's laundry there because I do not put his laundry away. He puts his own laundry away. I fold it for him, wash it for him. I put it in the hamper for him, but I refuse to put it away for him. So it's there for him when he gets home from work. He can just put it where he wants it and how he wants it. And he prefers it that way because I never put anything where it goes supposedly and then then I've I've done something with it and so he puts his own laundry away but anyways that's all I'm going to do in here today just because I have so much other stuff to do I did wipe down my bathroom counters but I didn't film it hi bud I'll probably vacuum in here and dust in here tomorrow but for today that's it I got that laundry done that's good let's go see I'll show you there's not even a dent in what I have left oh lord help me Okay, so I got everything dusted off and decluttered. There's the mirror. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. The only bad part is, is that it does have a mark. I don't know if it shows up on camera. It doesn't really focus right there, but there is a mark right there. Maybe you guys can see better, but I'm going to contact them and see if they will send me another one because I think I paid around $80 for this mirror. So I'm definitely not okay with that mark. But other than that, it's a beautiful, 
mirror. I'm so excited to put it up and show you guys. I'm not going to vacuum in here until we're done with the work on the bathroom because it, it's just pointless. But I have like her shower curtain and everything there ready to go. I'm going to have to steam it because um, it's going to be really wrinkly. But everything is picked up and dusted off. And then in here it's still pretty much a mess. But I'm waiting on my husband because I'm going to have him hang this towel rack for me. We got rid of the builder one and I got this really pretty one at Hobby Lobby. And then... Hi, what happened to your hair? I just fixed it so cute. I cleaned your room. Don't mess it up. So yeah, when he gets home, I'm gonna have him hang that. I've gotta have him put, this is the new shower curtain rod, but it's like not a tension rod. I'm not really sure how it's supposed to go up there. So I'm gonna let him figure that out and then um, switch this knob out for me and hang the mirror. I wish I was handy like that. Like I could do the knob if I really put my mind to it, but I've got other things to do today because um, I've got a lot going on and he can do it a lot quicker than me. But um, yeah, that's where we're at. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm done in here for now. I got to wait till he gets home for work. I'm going to go ahead out to the camper and get all of the stuff out of the refrigerator um, and bring it in the okay, house. Our camper is a mess, <laughs> but that's camping. So I always use this bag to carry stuff in and out to the camper. It's a 31 bag, an older one. So I'm just going to grab all that we have left in the fridge, which isn't a whole lot, and the freezer. Oh, it's so hot in here, you guys. And put that in the house. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to try to set the camera up so you guys can see me. It's kind of crazy awkward in here. If you haven't seen our camper tour, I do have that up on my channel where I showed you an outside tour and an inside tour of our truck bed camper. It is really awesome. It's amazing how much they can pack in to such a small space and it's just crazy every time we're in there to think that we're basically in the bed of a truck. Even though we can take the truck out from under it, it's still basically the size of the bed of a truck. It's just crazy, but it has been working so great for our family. When everything's gone it's hard to be strong Confusion in my mind No way to turn back time My soul in need of I have you guys up on a makeshift tripod here because mine is upstairs and I'm too lazy to go get it but I have this wreath that goes on the front door and um, this part kind of came unglued and was like hanging so I super glued it but it's not real sturdy so I have my hot glue gun here and it's been heating up for a hot minute. So it should be good. So I'm just gonna try to hot glue it and get it real good on there so that it doesn't fall off again. Tucker's wanting in, I can hear him out there working at me. I just let him out for potty. But yeah, that did good. So that should dry in a couple of seconds and then I can hang that back out there. But I wanted to go ahead and fix that while I was thinking of it. Hold on, I'm coming. Mama's doing the grocery haul. All right, guys, I just got home from picking up groceries, so I wanted to do a quick grocery haul for you guys and show you what I got for the week. So keep in mind, we do have some things already that I didn't need that maybe will be for a meal or something. So if you don't see something, it doesn't mean we don't necessarily have it. I just didn't need to get it this week. So, okay, I'm gonna start here. This is our chicken. I got two things of chicken breast. I'm not gonna take them out of the bags I actually leave them in the bags just in case they leak or anything I got some butter pecan ice cream because I was craving it it looks so good and I got some non-stick aluminum foil I use this when we make pizzas and stuff and I love the non-stick one we use this for so many different things but especially anything that we bake I put this over the pan and that way it makes clean up clean up so 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 much easier 
So Madeline loves these little, we call them taquitos. I don't know if that's what they're actually called, but these are the beef and cheddar. She also likes the chicken and cheese ones, but these are really good. And you just can heat them up in the microwave. So she likes these. So I got two boxes of those. And I got a box of pancakes. I got some stick butter. I love butter. I don't use margarine. I don't like it. I like real butter. It makes all of the difference, you guys. So I always get real butter. And then I got some Parmesan cheese because I use this to make my Alfredo. It's really, really easy to make it this way and so much better than the jar Alfredo. I've showed it in a couple of videos of mine. Then I got this frozen lasagna. My mother-in-law made this for us when we went to visit recently and we've been obsessed with it ever since. Super duper easy to make for dinner and tastes amazing. It tastes like homemade. So I get that and then we usually do like garlic bread and maybe like corn. I really wish I would have gotten stuff to make a salad but I totally forgot. So that's a bummer but I guess I could always run to the store and pick some stuff up. I got Kinsley some of these cheese sticks because she loves to have these as a snack. Picked up some mac and cheese, ramen, don't judge me. I like to have this for lunch. If you hear anything, my kid is skateboarding in the house and just crashed into something. <laughs> so it is what it is. We're gonna remain calm. Anyways, I like to have these for lunch, so I did get some ramen. Then I got this onion soup. I use this in my roast, and I do have roast on the menu for this week. So these are some things that I put in my roast. Brown gravy this all jaw gravy, is that how you say it, all jaw, brown gravy, and then some beef broth, and some carrots, potatoes, and this Coke is actually gonna go in my roast as well because I do put a Coke in there. I also have a video on my channel of how I make my roast, but um, that is something that I do put in there, so. Then I have eggs, and let's scoot over here. So I have some frozen corn. This is not the frozen corn that I like. They've been out of my frozen corn for like over a month now. I usually get the sweet corn. So hopefully this is good. And then this green giant veggie tots, the broccoli and cheese. So good, you guys. You definitely have to try this if you like broccoli. Amazing. And then pretty much everyone in my family likes these except for maybe Kinsley. But everybody else likes them. They're so good. And then I ordered a big thing of Drano, like an 80 ounce, and they were out, so they substituted for three of the, how many ounces, 32 ounces. So I got a little bit more than what I paid for. And then I got these goldfish for Kinsley to snack on. And I just got some Pop-Tarts. These are my family's favorite flavor. And then some mini Mountain Dew cans, because you guys know I'm addicted to Mountain Dew. And then chocolate milk. This is Madeline's favorite chocolate milk. I got some heavy whipping cream. This is for my Alfredo sauce that I make. Milk and orange juice. And then I got some frozen pizzas. Madeline and I really like the Red Baron brand. Um, they were out of the Supreme for my husband, so I just got him Tombstone, but it's also really good. I like the Tombstone brand also, but I really like the Red Baron um, recently, like just to change it up a little bit. It's just a little bit different, so that's what we've been getting. Then my husband likes these yogurts, the Chobani Flip, and they were out of the other one. He gets the banana one, go go nutty for banana or something. They were out. They only had the almond cocoa loco, so that's all he got this time. Then I got some sliced shredder, sliced shredder, <laughs> sliced cheddar cheese for a bacon chicken recipe that I'm going to be making for dinner this week. Um, I also got bacon right here is the bacon for that. It's on the recipe on Pinterest, so it looks delicious. I got some Lunchables for Kinsley and some fresh deli meat. This is buffalo chicken. It smells so good. I want to have a sandwich right now. Um, I got some apple juices for Kinsley, some sugar, and these are the garlic breads that I like, the Kavada rolls. So. That's what we'll have with our lasagna. I got my husband one of these because his other one broke and he needed a new one. Some bananas. I got some Ridex for our septic tank. We gotta do like once a month a treatment. I got some garbage disposal cleaner. This isn't my favorite. Now I really do like this and I've used it for a long time but I found one by Lemmy Shine that I like a lot better but I can't find it. I gotta look on Amazon. 
but I can't find it um, to refill and I'm out of them. So since this was in stock, I just went ahead and bought it. But the one by Lemme Shine is really good. And then I got some more, um, what you call it? Dishwasher tablets. And then I got some mouthwash and I got a really pretty little glass container to put my mouthwash in in my bathroom. So I'm just gonna dump this out of this one and put in that. So I wanted to get pink and online when I ordered these, cause I did Walmart grocery pickup, it was pink, but it's purple, but it's okay. And then I got some more Epsom salt for my bath because I love taking baths and I love Epsom salt. So that is it for groceries. I gotta get these put away. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. Maybe it gave you some ideas for something to try this week for your family. The doggies are, I threw all the bags on the floor. Bailey's out, Tucker's out. You know, it's really hard watching me do all this work. Okay guys, so we have the mirror. I love it, but I am gonna have to send it back to Amazon because of that mark, they're gonna replace it for me. Um, so the replacement is on its way, but I love the mirror, it looks so good. And then um, I got that knob on there last night. My husband did that, he hung that for me, and the shower curtain rod. So now I just gotta clean everything out of here. I'm gonna be cleaning the grout, cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the um, shower, toilet, everything, making it nice and clean, and then hanging her shower curtain. So are you excited? Yeah. You have paint on your face. She was painting a birdhouse this morning, so she has paint on her face, but I'm so excited to finally just get this bathroom put together and to see how it all comes together. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you the tricks that I know. I'm getting tired of talking and I need more of a show right now. It's time that you made your mind up. Cause lately all it ever does is Okay, so this was the next day. I'm just getting all of the trash and all of the clutter out of here so that I can give it a really good scrub down, get it all nice and clean so that I can do the fun part, which is decorating. And I am showing you the paint that I used in there. It was the Sherwin-Williams Infinity. And again, it is in the color Alpaca. I'm using my Dawn Power Wash for the bathtub and shower. I've talked about this before. I don't really like it for my dishes, but I do love it for cleaning the bathtubs. It does a great job. I have this one in the scent green apple, so it also smells really good. And then I'm just using this all-purpose disinfectant cleaner that I got from Walmart. It's the great value brand. I love it. It works great. It smells great. It's not too fumey. It doesn't have bleach in it, so you don't have to worry about bleaching your clothes, but it does kill germs, so it's a really great cleaner. We're only talking, talking, going round and around like a round. I will fight like no other every day. I won't stop like the others. I will stay. Cause now is the right time. And I'm feeling alright. I'm playing your game like I know I can win right now.
I did use the Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner with Hydrogen Peroxide for my grout. You guys have given me a ton of suggestions. I've been kind of going down the list of things, trying them out. I did some in my downstairs bathroom and it worked really good, but it was the Clorox one. And you know, I will tell you, I wasn't like super impressed at all with this one. It didn't really get them as clean and as bright back to the color that they were. So I'm definitely going to go over them again. I think next time I'm going to try my bleach spray. I really think that will help to brighten these up. I know that there is carpet cleaner that you can supposedly use. I did try that. It didn't do a very good job on this grout in particular. You guys, I don't think that this grout has ever been cleaned and this house was built in 2003. So it's some pretty serious staining. So I think I'm going to try bleach next time and see how that goes. I think that that will definitely brighten it up. I mean, it's clean at this point. We know that it's just not getting the stain up. So that's why I think I want to use bleach. So I got this little steamer, this handheld steamer on walmart.com. I thought it was cute because it's pink and... I have found several instances where I'm needing to get wrinkles out of stuff. So I went ahead and purchased it. I think it was like $20. It's a great little steamer. This was the first time I ever used it. It was a great little steamer. It, it got hot really, really fast and it produced a lot of steam, but it didn't end up getting the wrinkles out of the shower curtain. And you will see that in a minute. Also, I was not prepared and I completely forgot to buy shower curtain hooks. So I had some laying around the house from the previous owners and I was short a couple of them. I had to take some from our shower curtain and put on there and I still didn't have enough. So I'm going to have to find some shower curtain hooks for her shower curtain, but I wanted to get it up. I was really anxious. So in the meantime, this will do, but I put it up there and then I tried the handheld steamer and I don't know if I was doing something wrong. I really think that it's just the material because I ended up throwing it into the dryer on a low heat setting and let it do like its wrinkle thing. And it really didn't get a lot of the wrinkles out either. So it might just need some time to kind of sit up there and relax. Maybe some steamy showers will help. So I don't want to knock the steamer. I really did think it was a great little handheld steamer. I'll have to use it on something else in the future because like I said, even the dryer didn't really take the wrinkles out, which you will see at the very end. I think it's just kind of a wrinkly material and that's just how it is going to be. But overall, it's still a really cute shower curtain. I got it at Target and I will link it for you guys in the description box. Okay, so now I took it out of the dryer and it did release some more of the wrinkles than the steamer was doing for me, but it's still pretty wrinkly. But I am going to go ahead and put on this clear shower liner that I got on Amazon a long time ago. I don't even remember the name of it. I just was searching for a shower curtain liner and it came up. So I ordered two, one for Maddie's room and one for Kinsley's. It's a really heavy duty, nice one though. So I do like it. So I was just attaching that and then I went ahead and hung it up in there. Make sure that you understand You're the one who gives my life color There is no one other With your hand in mine Let me go by your side Let me go by your side I do 
want to get some more decor for in here, but I need to make a trip to Hobby Lobby, so that is to come. But as for now, here's a little reminder of what this bathroom looked like before. Had these oak cabinets and this dark like teal wall and then the mirror that they glued to the wall. Do not get me started on that. And then like a builder grade lighting. I didn't really show it in that clip, I'm sorry, but if you've seen any of my past videos, you may have seen it was just kind of like a strip light. It wasn't that cute, but I'm so excited. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Because you're gonna love it. I cannot wait for you to see it. And if you do love it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. I just feel like it is so fresh and clean and serene looking and just very girly and I don't know like the first thought that comes to my mind when I see it is just like clean and calming. I love that pink color. I got this little stool at Hobby Lobby by the way but I love the pink color on the wall. I love how the cabinets just made instantly like took years off of the cabinets and just gave them such a facelift for such an inexpensive way to do it too. And then the door, not the doorknobs, but the cabinet knobs. And then that mirror from Amazon is just gorgeous. I just love everything. I hope you guys love it too. I hope you guys are not disappointed. I know I have talked this up for a while. But I have been wanting to get this done for so long. I'm so excited that it is finally done. I cannot wait to do Madeline's bathroom. I'm not going to be painting her walls because I already love the pink color in her bathroom, but she is getting new mirrors, new lighting, and new cabinets. So that will be coming eventually whenever I can talk my husband into that project. We've been so busy this summer, so it'll probably be a little bit, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for 100,000. You guys are the best, and I will see you next week.